Welcome to Conversations. I'm your host, Mukhtar Dar Khan. And today I'm going to talk about two movies uh, that I saw over this weekend. And I found both the movies quite fascinating and I enjoyed them a lot. But I'm warning you, there are spoilers ahead. So if you've not seen the movie, please stop this video and don't watch it. Come back and watch it later after you have uh, watched those two movies. The movie that I'm going to talk about is uh, the latest movie among, from the Mission Impossible series with Tom Cruise and uh, Rocky and Rani Ki, Prem Kahani. This is from Bollywood. So let's start with uh, what I liked about uh, the movie uh, Mission Impossible. The reason why I found that movie interesting, uh, I go to Tom Cruise movies basically for the stunts that he, he performs. And I'm, I must say I'm a big fan of the fact that he does that himself the motorcycle jump that he performed apparently that he performed it himself and he he did that several times in order to get the best uh, take uh, so that takes a lot of courage he's probably the, the bravest movie star in the world without being while also being the greatest uh, movie hero i guess uh, <laughs> uh, superstar on the planet uh, but what i liked about that movie was uh, that the the bad guy is now artificial intelligence. And so given the, the conversation that I had on some of the things that Elon Musk uh, talked about with regards to artificial intelligence and the dangers that it uh, poses uh, to humanity uh, as such, uh, you, you could see that in this movie. Uh, I think the, the plot of the movie was written several years ago. And therefore, it was, in my opinion, dealing with a very primitive idea of artificial intelligence. There was a lot of vagueness and mystery about uh, uh, what the entity was uh, and how it was taking over. But they also pointed to one of the dangers of uh, artificial intelligence that I also talked about in my conversation, which was its threat to the truth. Artificial intelligence can obfuscate reality from fabrication and falsehood and truth, uh, especially by the role that it can potentially play uh, by, by manipulating the social media. But in the movie, uh, the entity was deleting, was basically hacking into systems and deleting the past and also deleting knowledge. So, so basically it was eliminating the human capacity to know truth. That is, I think, the biggest threat that entity posed uh, to humanity in Mission Impossible. Uh, but I think that uh, the next subsequent issues, uh, subsequent parts, it's a three-part movie, probably we will look at the latest developments of uh, artificial intelligence, which may entail uh, the entity using robots rather than a human being as its surrogate to act uh, in the human domain. So I, I, I like that movie because primarily because I found it interesting that I read a lot about artificial intelligence to do the conversation uh, on Elon Musk's uh, discussion with Tucker Carlson about artificial intelligence. So, so it was to me quite interesting to watch that movie. And as far as Rocky versus Rani, uh, Rocky or Rani ki prem kahani, it's a fun movie, uh, and uh, uh, it's so much fun that. Uh, Actually, my wife and daughter went and saw the movie and my wife liked it so much that she dragged me with her. And so we ended up, she saw the movie twice in three days. Uh, it, it is, at least for her, she found that that interesting. It's a funny movie uh, and uh, the, the stars are both extremely uh, captivating. So you can enjoy the whole movie. But uh, what I liked about the movie was the idea itself uh, that they come from two different uh, cultural, social, intellectual, uh, and class backgrounds. Uh, Rani comes from a highly intellectual family. Rocky comes from basically a very rich but not highly educated family background. They sell laddus and make a lot of money. So, but they try to bridge this cultural and intellectual and social divide, especially the divide in terms of values. Uh, Rani's family is pretty woke. <laughs> they are overly sensitive to anything that is racist uh, or politically incorrect, uh, while uh, Rocky's family is, you know, uh, Chalta Hai Bindas kind of family. They take everything in their stride. They're more interested, except that family matters. Uh, and uh, there's also a lot of misogyny uh, 
and, and patriarchy, very strong patriarchy in Rocky's family. The men dominate everything. I mean, even though actually it was a woman who was dominating everything. Uh, Jaya Bhadri, I think, played a very interesting uh, role in that movie as the matriarch who was responsible for patriarchy. Let me repeat that. As a matriarch who was the fundamental reason for and responsible for creating and maintaining a patriarchal system in her family. Uh, so, so the idea that Rocky would go and and live in the in his girlfriend's family and Rani would go and live in her boyfriend's family for three months so that they can adjust and understand each other's culture. That's the idea I like. It's actually there is a lot of uh, psychological research going on in cognitive uh, understanding of empathy. This is about empathy. By walking in someone else's shoe for a mile, you understand what their life context is, where are they coming from? So the whole idea of developing empathy, which would then make them both more compatible with each other was a brilliant idea. Uh, and uh, this, uh, this empathy idea is essentially based on uh, the golden rule, you know, uh, uh, do unto others what you want done unto you. In fact, there's a very famous hadith of Prophet Muhammad that even Obama quoted in one of his speeches where the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, desire for your brothers what you desire for yourself. So this, this idea of, uh, of empathy is a very old idea, but today it is a subject of psychological research. And so, so in the movie, uh, both of them begin to develop empathy. And you can see that uh, remarkably when Rocky laughs at his girlfriend's father who who is a professional classical Kathak dancer. And they associate that kind of dancing with, uh, with women. And so there was all this masculine, toxic masculinity at display uh, while Rocky and his entire family is laughing uh, at Rani's father who is dancing like a woman, or at least that's what they thought. Uh, and so then Rocky then begins to understand his father, his potential father-in-law's desires to be the dancer and begins to respect it and understand it and value it so much so that he also picks up uh, and actually dances better than his potential future father-in-law uh, in terms of Kathak dancing. So, so that was to me a very fascinating idea. I think in, in societies which are very diverse, we should have this practice. I think uh, Hindus should spend one Ramadan with a Muslim family. And I think a Muslim should also go and live in Hindu families uh, to learn and understand where they are. I think that will increase empathy for each other and also help develop respect and understanding of the other. This is very important, I think. Uh, I didn't like the fact that the movie, which had a very interesting side story of in which Dharmendra uh, and Shabana Azmi, uh, I didn't like that the fundamental transformation of all the people takes place because uh, the patriarch uh, Dharmendra dies. Uh, I think that was, I didn't like that at all. I would have liked it better if all the people involved changed, including Jaya Bahadari, because of this experiment uh, of trying to develop mutual understanding and empathy by walking in the shoes of another. So I hope you go and enjoy the movie. I did not want to theorize about it, but I like that movie. So that's why I wanted to share uh, I do watch uh, Bollywood films and Hollywood films uh, and television series, but uh, I don't do shows about them. The reason why I did was because uh, I was fascinated with the with how the Mission Impossible talked about artificial intelligence. This is the ultimate nightmare of uh, all science fiction writers that we will create a monster one day uh, that we will be unable to control. So. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, see you. This is Muqtadar Khan, host of Khan Stations.